who did you see when you were in heaven? Well, the people that I saw were, there was Jesus, I saw Mary, um, I also got to see my great-grandfather, Pop, and my sister, who's already there because she was miscarriaged. And then I got to see a few of the Bible characters that we read about. Did you know at the time who all of those people were? Um, yeah, I knew who a lot of them were because I read Bible stories and it had a lot of them in there. Were you surprised by it? When you saw God, when you saw Jesus, were you thinking, wow, this is what I learned? Were you, were you in awe? Well, it's sort of that you're in awe, yet you know it's coming. Sort of that you learn about it, yet you still get amazed by what you see. Let's talk about some of the Bible characters that you did see. Tell me about them and, and well, what you learned about them. The people, the Bible characters that I saw were John the Baptist, King David, Samson, and the Apostles Peter and John. I'm not sure if I saw any others, but those are the ones that I can remember. Those are the ones you recognized. Let's talk about your grandfather. You met your grandfather when you were in heaven, but did you know it was your grandfather you were meeting? Um, no, I didn't know. He came up and introduced Deuced himself to me. Sorry, tongue twister. And what did he say to you? He just asked me, are you Todd's son? I say yes. Then he says that he was his grandfather. So after that, I just hung out with him. Did he look like your grandfather? Um, he, I'm not sure, but he looked like his young self, and I've never seen any pictures of him before. And let's talk about the sister that you hadn't met. She walked up to you and said, I'm your sister. Did you say, wait, I don't have a sister this age? Tell me how that happened. Well, I was just walking in, and then she comes up and gives me a big hug and tells me she's my sister, and then she explains what happened, that she died in my mom's stomach, or tummy, or womb, but she told me her tummy. So when she got miscarried, she told me that she ended up there, and I came back down and told my mom and dad. And that was one of the biggest shocks, this story. Was it not, Sonia? Oh, yeah, very much so, because um, um, we had not talked with, you know, either child. Cassie was, you know, five or six. We just hadn't shared that with him. How do you explain a baby dying? And so when he came back and said he'd met his sister, that was um, um, a touch point in our lives. Yeah. Did you believe all of this was true? He was telling these stories. So many of these things were coming out. But when that happened, do you think that that was a turning point in you realizing that your son really had been to heaven? Well, I, we had already realized he had for some of the previous stories. That was one that really hit home because that was a, a hurt. Yeah. And I know that this is so emotional for so many women who have gone through miscarriages and losing children. So did it give you comfort? Um, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah, it was a healing um, for him to be able to explain what she looked like, um, that she was okay. Did you even know that it was a daughter you were carrying? No, we didn't. So when we first said she wouldn't stop hugging, you know, it was a she that was like, um, oh, she says she, a revelation. But then you wanted to know information but not feed him information, but yet get as much as she could. What does she look like? How, you know, what does she do? And, and he was very good about being... Tell, tell me, answering my questions that I was asking and, and making a healing happen that we, you know, lost a baby and, and she was okay and she's fine and she can't wait to see us. Heaven is for Real is the true story of the four-year-old son of a small town Nebraska pastor who during emergency surgery slips from consciousness and enters heaven. He survives and young Colton begins to share how he met his miscarried sister whom no one had told him about. And she comes up and gives me a big hug and tells me she's my sister, and then she explains what happened. 
Colton continued to describe the horse that only Jesus could ride and how the Holy Spirit sends power from heaven to help us. Heaven is for real, as told by the father, Todd Burpo, but often in Colton's own words. The message is simple, heaven is a real place. Jesus really loves children and be ready, there is a coming last battle. This book is our thanks to you for your support. To request a copy, write to us in Canada or in the United States. Visit crossroads.ca or simply call 1-800-265-3100.